grand after evening all right so i'm gonna be real the tiktok community has kind of been under my skin like under my skin so i'm kind of just taking a little break from them from everybody and i'm just charging up so honestly i'm really only focused on my patreon and my youtube because tiktok you feel me? We get a lot of energies over there, and those energies are not always very pleasant energies. Oh, no, no. I don't know who these people are. I mean, I had a guy over in my comments over here on the YouTube that also wanted to express his opinion saying something about how, I don't know how people can believe in this stuff. It's kind of like freedom of speech. You feel me? I'm here practicing my belief and you have the belief that you want you you know people want to hear your opinion as if we haven't been living and existing with people with the same closed-minded mentality for generations and decades and finally in this lifetime the spiritualists are here we have risen we are here to take over <laughs> it's a little uncomfortable I know I know I know everything you guys have have learned and been taught and everything that's been instilled in you guys we are tearing it from underneath your feet ripping it from your hands anything that you can grasp onto that was any type of closure within this matrix um we're removing it blinders off baby you feel me? It's 2022, and unfortunately for lifetimes, we've been suppressing who we are for you guys and, you know, the social nonsense, you feel me? So now that, like, you know, you know, ex exterminating us isn't an option, and not, you know, my people, but that is something we could talk about one day. But, you know, my spiritual people, my spiritual community, you feel me? We had the witches. We had, we had so many, so many horrible situations where they tried to exterminate us. Many dimensions very close very very close but again it's 2022 you feel me and you know what i did learn from a fortune cookie huh the belief of one is worth more meaning is more powerful than the interest of 99 so understand the spiritual community this belief stuff is a lot more powerful than you understand and honestly you guys well, we, we believe in the power that's within us. We believe in the power that we carry. We embody the, the, the power of, you know, the big guy. You feel me? So that's how we, we gracefully, you know, do what we do. I don't know. I just feel like getting a little gully with these other people because that comment really irritated me. I just wanted to say that. I'm actually cooking. So I really probably should be playing with the cards. That was the, the purpose of this. But, you know, I, I'm ranting right now. Please don't judge me. I said the TikTok community set me off, right? Set me off. You're like, yeah, but we don't want to hear you. You know, yeah, you know what? How do you think I feel about this stuff circulating in my head? Can I have a shoulder? Can I please have a shoulder? No? All right, let me get to the cards. How many times I picked up this cup and I didn't take a sip? I think it's like 46. Can we get a counter? We're going to get a counter somewhere. We're going to get a counter. One. Mmm. <laughs> Success. We got one. All right, no, I'm just kidding. Let's see what we got going on. It's going to be quick. Ooh. Hold on one second. Let me go turn that stove off. I don't know what's going on in this world, boy.
so sorry about that. I'm back. So apparently we are beginning a brand new journey in a whole new direction. A brand new cycle? Zero? Am I missing something? Let's see what's going on. This energy is really popping. What is this? Ooh, emotional satisfaction. If we look at the picture, this is somebody who is rather hefty. Yeah, meaning that they eat well. Yeah, meaning that they have the finer things in life that surround them. Yeah, emotional satisfaction. Yeah. Ooh, I love it. I'm so sorry. I just had to. I just had to. Like, come on. Because, like, you know, basically why I said this is a heavier person, meaning that they eat well. They have the finer things in life available to them. This is a person of luxury, of comfort, that knows what is going to bring them this. You feel me? Satisfaction. Let's keep it moving. Oh, okay. You want to talk to me? Nice. All right. So, apparently, this beautiful energy has made a, a decision, a decision of some sort, right? Yeah, they turn their back to everything that they know. They, they're moving forward. They're actually embodying their queen of cups. You feel me? Which is a very potent energy. I'm having a feeling this rather satisfactional being is uh, manifesting and probably at a very rapid rate. You know, I'm just looking at the cards. I'm just looking at the cards because somebody who embodies this much love and understands what satisfaction is, what joy is, and knows how to do it without being in a gluttonous manner. There has to be some intent behind that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What did I say? This particular energy is going for that unconditional family life. Are they fleeing the scene? I don't know. Are they moving? I don't know. What is going on? They're definitely passionate. They're definitely moving. And to be honest with you, a night, oh, a night of wands is a particular night I would want not want to stand in their way. Dude, like if they like your necklace they're not gonna ask you for it no their horse is probably gonna end up on your chest as like pulling your necklace from your neck so you know what somebody on a mission like that just get out of the way dude don't be their speed bump they're looking for casualties let's not do that let's not all right i'm this is this is very inspiring beautiful oh and, and speaking of inspiration don't tell me this is the fire to the fuel fuel to the fire i don't know really the motivation behind this energy is pain, is, is hurt, is heartbreak. So they transmute this energy in their queen of cups to create this unconditional lifestyle, family, or whatever this issue situation is. I don't know, but <sighs> apparently we do know now. All right, so this particular energy is, is uh, definitely clearly manifesting a happy social life they're using the pain of the past to create a clear happy future community this energy is a mastermind all right this energy is like you know pinky in the brain but not brain it's actually pinky remember how many times pinky literally decided not to take over the world and he was like literally right there and he did it and brain couldn't do it this is a pinky you feel me you underestimate it, but you're not, uh, you, the uh, opposition doesn't realize the genius within the silly creative individual. I wouldn't be surprised if this Queen of Cups was once looked at as maybe a page or even something lesser than that. But either way, this pain turned its t tur is turning into something extremely beautiful. Yep. Yeah. At one point, she held on tight. This energy, of course, held on tight. Had to pinch even with the money. They did. Yes, they did. But you know what? With all of that, saving, being stuck in lack, forced this energy, this immature energy, to transition, right? Forced to change. Or transformation. However you would like to look at it. Whichever word you would choose, you know, but but that's what was needed to get this karmic wheel turning. Yo, this energy is so gangster, bro. Really? Master manifester? What'd I say? What did I say? I said that, right? Right? I said they were a mastermind, right? 
dude. They are consciously putting in good energy, of course, which is what we do, of course, always. But they're consciously making every single calculated decision to impact their future. This is a freaking mastermind. So one of my favorite things to say when I was a kid and still to this day is, Mom, when I grew up, I want to play Monopoly with my life. So as an adult, that's what I'm doing. And um, maybe I'm reading my own energy right now, but um, yeah, I didn't think other beings also operated as I did use that pain for motivation. But you know, we are a new generation stepping up. So how could I not believe that there's a community of me? We just haven't linked up together yet. You feel me? Come on now, let's get it popping. But I'm very proud of this energy. This is hot. Yes. Okay. Yes. With all of that, you may be being called to rest. Um, this is a lot, especially with this transition. Um, the karmic wheel is turning. You may need to dial it back just a little bit so that the karmic wheel, sorry, so that the universe can um, adjust to your speed because you're, you're manifesting at an extremely rapid rate. Yes, we have the three of wands here, which is waiting but you're waiting with your back turned to everything else, which is actually applying pressure to the universe. Genius. Basically, that parking spot in front of the building to pick you up is completely available. You put cones in every single spot to make sure the universe has an entire lane to pull up to make sure you don't miss this opportunity. Genius. I love it. Congratulations. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is very impressive. This is phenomenal all right but you're going back and forth there's some indecision for you is this why you're resting because you have to make a clear decision yes the karmic wheel is turning is it time for you to turn it again so that we can make more changes that's what i'm feeling or maybe it's moving a little too fast for you yes this is it right now so it's moving a little too fast for you and you're not sure what's coming you turn the wheel you've been consciously turning the wheel but you're at a point where you actually cannot see right so that's what this juggling is and i get it I get it when we manifest quick and we manifest multiple things at the same time and they're all larger things we're manifesting it feels like you know the grind is cool we're used to the grind because we're no but when it but when we feel the energy moving around us and you know everything is stagnant because you we're used to moving and grinding and getting everything situated you know this is actually the time for the universe to catch up to us so um i'm sorry i, I know how it is i'm a workaholic myself cap fills my chart so um you know take this time to rest enjoy yourself um i'm not saying don't completely forget about your manifestations of course not you know just um let's put them, um, them on part-time hours just like a, a plant or a, a tr you know a plant uh you go outside um you stare at it you don't see it grow but the minute you go to a barbecue with your friends and then you know the next morning you have a, a church or some type of family brunch with your family i don't know what your practices are so i don't i want to keep it as open and diverse for everybody so we can all connect and communicate and just you know break those barriers of division that's my uh one of my more important goals uh but nonetheless um in that time that you're gone, 18 to 24 hours, you notice, oh my goodness, it sprouted so much. And then, you know, during the week you have to work. So you water it, but you don't have time to truly talk to it and nurture it. So you don't have the opportunity. So you don't have the opportunity to, um, you don't have the opportunity to, to stalk it. So that when you see it, it, uh, it's grown very, very, I'm sorry. So over here, yeah, you're being called to rest because um, your manifestations are being heard. They're coming into fruition. So with your, um, <clears throat> I apologize for that. So uh, with your manifestations coming into fruition and you juggling with the indecision of rest, what should I be doing? You really, really, really are being called to rest. We need to bring these in properly. And also you need to be prepared physically, mentally, um, you know, because abundance, um, I don't think you realize the magnitude of the abundance that's coming your way. You're already at the nine of cups. You're about to get the ten of cups. I don't see any pentacles on the table, but this is all emotional satisfaction. Now, if you have a happy, healthy mind, you have a ha ha you can take care of a happy, healthy body, creating a happy, healthy heart space. Correct. Now, with that, we can manifest and create and bring into fruition anything we want. So do we really need a gift of a pentacle or do we need the gift of clarity, the gift of of unconditional love? You know what I mean? So everybody's excited for the pentacles. Yes. Yes, I get it. I do. But without emotional fulfillment, how can you enjoy these pentacles? Once you're once your stress of whatever material possession is is fulfilled, you're still empty. You feel me? We want to get we don't want that empty portion. 
that at no point should we ever value the pinnacle so much that our, we don't understand the lack of emotional fulfillment. The worst thing would be for your manifestation to come into fruition and you are not emotionally satisfied. How many people, oh, I always wanted to be rich, now I'm rich, I'm not happy. That was a half-assed manifestation, to be honest. You didn't fully think out your intent and where you were going, which is the difference between a master manifester and everybody else who does this for a trend. Feel me? So pick your lane, get in it, and hit the gas. Whichever lane it is, it's up to you. But hit the gas in whichever lane you choose. Don't pump the brakes and slow down the flow for the next person. All right, we all got things we trying to get done. And, and uh, I, I believe, I don't know, but I think we only got one universe or there's a million universes inside of a bunch of other universes and galaxies. Ah, uh, this is a very broad conversation, this where this can end up. But nonetheless, pick your lane, hit the gas. Anyway, other than that, I'm extremely per per um, impressed. I'm extremely, extremely impressed. And even with what I just said, um, this is just advice. Clearly, this is a mastermind on my table, so please don't take me saying anything in your manifestations, in your direction, uh, towards your work or what you're creating, because please understand, I am not the creator in this situation. So, all respect to you. You're doing a phenomenal job. If I, apply, if I give you something that you can apply, I would love for you to apply it. But please, this is between you, the big guy. You, and the universe. You, and your ancestors. It might have something to do with me because you're probably contributing to society. But the manifestation, that gift, is yours. So please don't, please don't take anything I'm saying as disrespect. You're doing phenomenal. All right. So anywho, I'm out. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. All right. So you are. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is so popping. That is so popping. All right, so we have justice coming out. So this is your karmic justice for this heartbreaking situation. Unfortunately, whoever broke your heart didn't realize that you take pain and you turn it into power. You're a transmuting machine. You're gangster. You're like Al Pacino in the spirit realm. You feel me? Debo before he got the brick through his head. You feel me? Very. Anyway, but nonetheless, you are an individual who is embodying the divine masculine energy, or you just maybe stepped up to control and take power of your life. Right? That's maybe that's why your understanding of this emotional satisfaction, right? Is that what it is? Are you manifesting an earth angel or balance or reconciliation? Or maybe you're a master manifester and also an earth angel? I know I am. Huh, sneaky and calculated, are we? Now, being that everything that I've seen on this table, I don't feel no type of way about seeing this. I'm honestly very, very um, happy to see that you're not just giving your energy and your time to anyone because clearly you're a master manifester, so you understand the importance of your energy, your time, and the people and places that you give this beautiful pentacle to, right? So apparently, there was a bunch of confusion and illusion that you snuck away from real quietly. You just surrendered that to God and your Queen of Cups, which was the, which is how you were able to step up into your divine masculine role and or energy. Yes. So when you sur when you surrender that, you in fact walked away. I was gonna go, but show me. Walked away, killed that. Was done. Uh, uh over and out oh I actually did separate with the queen of swords making decisions that did not involve your emotions of course in the upright they were logical they were truthful you were looking for clarity i'm just glad it's not the king of swords Ooh, oh excuse me boop what is this what is this maybe there was
You are so sneaky. Let me say that. Okay, so apparently you have admiration for somebody and you're stuck in your mental imprisonment, stuck in your head over this. And there's possibly some delayed communication or you're watching this individual on social media. Really? A little creep. You're in your king of wands. Or they're creeping your way. And you have your sword up to them. Nonetheless, it looks to be that this is your manifestation. Coming to life. Fruition. Ooh. And this is only happening because you have separated and caused justice for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me? So what you did was you aligned yourself or manifested whatever word you would like to use, a counterpart that matches you. You feel me? I love it. Ooh, it's so sexy. Literally, they are very attractive beings. We got the king and queen of wands. Ooh, man, I'm not taking my wife out on that night. No, I'm not. I'm so sorry. Man, I don't know if the wife or the husband is going to end up taking my person. I think not, buddy. I'm very insecure, but, like, this energy is so popping. You feel me, babe? We're just going to have to paint and sip tonight. I know I don't sip, but I just, you know, can we please? You feel me? But nonetheless, this king, this masculine, this masculine who's coming to work with you, Eight of Pentacles, has some rather heavy emotional investment with you. Ooh, ew. Oh, no. Mm. I hope they're a Capricorn. I hope they're a Capricorn. Oh, they're obsessively thinking about a new beginning with you. Oh, it's so cute. This makes me want to go and wash my hair. Like, this really makes me want to go and wash my hair. This is too cute. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. This is so cute. Oh, and he wants to commit. Okay, this energy would like to commit. Big body, big boy. Okay, you better put that pinnacle away, sir. Jeez, usually it's the king of wands I got an issue with. Ah, this guy over here trying to flash all his pinnacles. You feel me? Get off your knee, boy. Oh, that's what's being illuminated right now. You weren't aware of this. Okay, that's cute. All right, um, I should probably let you know that I also see a naked baby coming. So, please use protection. All right, new beginnings, divine masculine, naked babies on ponies. All right. All right. Who messed up the flow? Who messed up the flow? Seven of Wands, guarded defensive. Maybe not realizing they're at an advantage, but they are above the advantage. But nonetheless, this is affecting my flow. I feel that. I definitely feel this is a tower moment. But why do we have a tower moment? Dude, way to mess up the flow. Ah! Oh. My apologies for that tantrum I just threw. So apparently, um, Mr. King of Pentacles has is a little fearful of commitment, has commitment issues, but is so enticed. Please excuse the word if that's the wrong word. But so enticed by this queen of pentacles. Oh, man. Mm. It's ready to move forward. Ready to move forward. Thank you, sir. I said there was no pentacles on the table, right? I said there was no pentacles on the table. But apparently the master manifester decided to secretly throw in the fact that there's a ton of pentacles on the table. So you want let me gash you up with the emotional intelligence and blah 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 blah. But of course it's a master manifester. And you can't think that they're gonna manifest a ten of cups with no type of wealth. Of course not, Maisha. You know there's gonna be a ten of pentacles somewhere. Duh! We just gotta wait for the masculine to come in. That's all. So you guys can create this together. Generational wealth for both generations. And the best part of this is... 
Your masculine understands the assignment. Yeah, I mean that. Your masculine understands the assignment. This current new masculine coming in, the king of wands, this... this This divine emperor. Mm. This was a powerful read. This was a poppin' read. This was an awesome read. I'm sorry if that messed up the vision. That's my TikTok setup. TikTok's been driving me nuts, man. Them beings. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. But, um, yeah, this was poppin'. This was a real cool read, guys. Like, I enjoyed this reading. I... Uh, if you're watching and you're still here, please like, share, and subscribe. But um, even if you don't, like, and this is your first time seeing tarot or, you know, you're not understanding why we believe in it, um, pick up a deck of cards, the regular ones. Start playing with the regular cards. And then the cards that you keep pulling out, go to Google and search the meetings. For instance, the um, Ace of Diamonds is this guy and if i'm not mistaken that's the particular card that got me to being here and understanding a little bit about tarot that's what drew me in the truth and clarity on a regular playing card deck all right so i was predicting the cards i was going to the casino making lots of money that's how my spirit team got my attention and now you can see me here reading tarot so um your ancestors will do whatever is necessary to connect with you me i'm a nerdy person i'm into uh very afraid of spirits very afraid of everything very very afraid of everything but um you know my god <clears throat> my god understands that i'm a fearful person and um the only being i don't fear is my god well that's a lie that's a lot. That, that came out wrong. It came out very wrong. I'm not fearful of humans. I could, I could care less about humans. But um, the only being that, that brings me peace, comfort, um, anything is God, God, the big guy for me personally. So, um, you know, they know to use kid gloves with me. They know not to approach me. They know not to be a big old orb in my face scaring the heck out of me. They know not to wake me up at a certain time. They know how to wake me up. Um, they know how to deliver messages to me. They know how to get my attention. But, not, but of course, God was watching me my whole life. And, of course, you know, um, God built a relationship with me before I even knew who God was. But, um... I was just very open and clear about my boundaries. And um, I let God know very clearly. Look, if I get scared, I'm running the opposite direction. I'm leaving everything and I'm running. I might not even have shoes on, but I'm going. And, um, you know, after a few conversations like that, you know, God came through more and more to the point where <sighs> there's no fear. There's no fear. Um. Anybody who may be second guessing or questioning tarot, the tools, the cards, dude, God created these tools. God gave me my gifts. God also gave you a gift of intuition if you're tapped into it. You may not have all the gifts I have, but you have gifts as well. But do you want to be a muggle? Or do you want to be a god or goddess? Me personally, I want to be a god. Not just like my father, because that pay grade is too much work. Too much work. That man is so stressed. <sighs> no, thank you. Hard pass. But you feel me? Uh, for the opportunities that my father does pass to me, some more rough. But he always gives me opportunities that he knows I'll be successful in. And, you know, he, gets, he sees me get frustrated. He'll giggle at me and laugh at me. But... He always comes through to grab me by my collar and pull me back up, <sighs> try again. And then that's usually when I get it. So, um, yeah, I take my relationship with spirit, very spirit, God, the universe, big guy, whatever labeling you need to comfort you. Um, but um, I take my relationship very serious. And if it weren't for that relationship, I wouldn't be here. So 
you know, um, like I said at the beginning of this, that first comment really irritated my soul. But I figured let's just end it off with some education. Hopefully you tune back into this and something, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give, we'll take. And uh, even if you don't become a tarot reader, like, dude, just respect us. We're just a bunch of cool kids minding our business we're not shaking our bodies we're not we're not like naked we're not doing nothing that's like degrading to ourselves to to society we're not we're helping all people all races all religions and as long as like you know you're you're spiritual and you want to change there's there's no division in our community there's not even the the good and the bad they all work for the good so like if there's any place that, you know, no disrespect, your opinions aren't respected, it's within the spiritual community because we don't believe in race. We don't believe in people. Like, we do believe in people, but, like, the division of people we don't understand. We don't because we're energy. We're beings. You know what I mean? What type of being are you? What, 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 what's going on with your spirit, with your soul? We, we use our spiritual eyes to engage, to interact you know, we use our senses, our feelers to, to guide us through life. Uh, like everybody I'm affiliated with, which is only myself because I'm the only person in my life. Um, I walk by faith, never by sight. There's been times when my mother like had to circle back around me to make sure that, you know, I'm not putting myself in a stupid situation. Now, there was two times. One time, the most recent, when I almost purchased a car and she... Um, she brought some stuff to my attention. Uh, I was a little too far in my faith. <laughs> you know, um, spirit always tells me balance spirituality and practicality. And um, the practicality, man, that's the hardest part of life. Being practical, staying in the three day. If I could, man, I'd be gone all day, just traveling, doing my thing all day. But anyway, so the the spiritual community, we welcome you. We welcome you to educate you, to inform you, to enlighten you, to open you up to this. Um, Feel free to check us out. Feel free, you know, never to show hate, but to show love. And we will gladly show show you, show up and show out. You feel me? We'll teach you whatever you want to know, as long as you have pure intent and a clear mind. You feel me? That's a pure heart, clear mind, pure intention. I could work with you. Anything else, I'm sorry. I can't do it. But, um, but that's also with anybody who's real in our community. Real, recognized, real. So, you feel me? We, we are here for you. We are not just here to, you know, for propaganda we're not just doing this to be on YouTube, you feel me? No, we're doing this to save lives, to save souls. And it just so happens to be, like, the cards are really pr pretty and energy is really cool in the way that the cards move and they have their own feeling and vibration and heat and temperature. Um, it's really cool, dude. Just get down with us. Come on. Just get down with us. I promise. Pray before you get down and then get down with us. And I only say that so that you have security within yourself to understand and recognize that what you are working with is going to be for the good or for the bad with how you use it. You have the power to control how you utilize your tools. Do you want to use them for good or for bad? Are you going to be digging into other people's information and background that got nothing to do with your client? Are you actually helping your client? Are you just reading a bunch of energy and not giving them any insight to actually lead them to victory? Are you allowing them to actually do their work? Because that's an issue that I'm having. I'm actually doing the work for my clients. So they're not actually learning anything and they're just coming back to back. And I don't like the cycle thing. So I'm dialing it back and making them do the work a little bit more, a little bit more. All right. So there's that. Anyway. Love and light. I'm sorry to yap your ears off. No, I'm not. I love talking to you. And if I could, I'd listen to you respond back. Haters and the lovers. You feel me? Everybody. I want to hear everybody's opinion. Everybody's welcome. Just don't. Please be mindful. There's children around me. There's children in my community. This is a safe place for children. So now that that is said, and I am done. At least that's what I say. Bye.